Hey, this is old Uncle Mark. Uh, I am not in the mothership. Figure this. But I do have my three string cigar box guitar. So uh, this is a request song called Mongoose. And uh, I believe it's by El Elephant's Memory. They were a uh, 60s band that had some minor success. Um, so anyway, we're going to be working on that. A um, couple of things I want you to work on here strum-wise for this tune is a... Um Start getting into these... Okay? So you need this kind of strum. So I would practice these kind of strums just with your pinky or your third finger down. And you can do this with, you know, with your slide on here. You can, right? But pick a spot that's actually a note. Don't just pick anywhere, okay? So if your song is gonna be in D, stay on D and practice this, right? Don't just, because then it sounds different. And what I want you to do is start thinking ahead of what song you're going to use these rhythms in. Because it does make a difference. If you're playing Pink Floyd in A, you know, you're going to need that in A or G. So I want you to start thinking this way. Um, so this song has uh, a few funny chords in it. I'm going to put my slide down for a second, but we're going to be using it. Um, it's got a few funny chords. It's got a C in it, and we know uh, open is G, G sharp, A, B, flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. We don't need to know any more of this for this song. It's in D. Okay. But it does a little funny trick where it goes C. And then I'm going to play a uh, G as opposed to open. I'm going to play a G this way. So I'm going to put my first finger on the B. I'm going to put my second finger on the other B. So I'm on the fourth fret here. So just remember you're in between these dots, right? And then I'm going to put my third finger there. If you use a slide on your third finger, you can use your pinky, but uh, I'm on this G. And this is the chord shape I think that works. You can certainly go, but I think that really works. And the, the real shape would be this, but I think this shape works, works the best. It gives it some dissonance. It, it doesn't quite work nicely. It's not a nice focused chord, but it really has um, what this song I think needs. So you're going to go C. Then I'm just going to call this a G with a B. And then we're going to go down to this D. So um, your second finger is on this A. Your first finger is on this A. And that's it. That's a D. That's the second inversion of the D chord, which is the same as this. So this song goes back to D. So C, G with a B, D. And it has this nice progression where it's doing this. That's what you're looking for. do is go really slow and do this uh, the song remember the song is in D I'm trying to look at it and <laughs> look at it I'm looking at this so I should I should just look at what I'm doing the village of Lagoda Lies a body, cold and dead, for the venom of the cobra has the body, body wet. I can hear a little girl 
as she cries all around. The snake has killed her father. Tell me where she can be found. Chorus. Mongoose. So the chorus has this A and a G and an A. So you can certainly go mongoose, 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 mongoose. Or you can work with these two notes here and go. So you're picking down and up. So get used to this kind of a phrasing. That's kind of what you're after pick-wise, but I'm going to do it with the whole chord. This song is really good learning different techniques and key changes because the chorus is A. So you can start fooling around. And then it does all this psychedelic stuff, right? So. There's so many undertones and overtones in this band. Um, they use synthesizers and um, uh, saxophones and uh, oh. crazy guitar stuff. So what I would do is put on your slide and after this little uh, mongoose. Fake it, okay? Just fake it. No one is gonna know but you. Um, uh, Frank Zappa had a thing once, don't be a wind up monkey. So don't play it exactly the way it's supposed to be if you're gonna do a cover. So don't wind up monkey this, fool around with it. Start playing with the different notes of your slide here and go. Mongoose, mongoose, mongoose. Here we go. You know, people. You know, and go into it just like that, right? So you're going to be on the chorus. Mongoose. Sounds psychedelic. Go these undertones and overtones. And the people sound the drums. Call the mongoose from his lair. Through the jungle, flies alone to a tunnel in the dark on the hill. So, that's kind of how this song goes. That's a great combination here, right? The C, this G with a B, and this D. And you can come back up with your slide. So you can use that, use um, all of this, and go to, into interesting things. So the song's in D, so be here for your psychedelic stuff. Go half steps. Don't 
Don't be afraid to make it up. Just remember, you do have a stopping point. Your stopping point is important, okay? So when you get to where you're gonna go, start low, go high. But remember, say you wanna stop in A, which is what the chorus is in, this is where you're gonna be. So work your way up to here, and then start the lyric. And the people sound the drum. So practice going from here or high, somewhere in here, to this. And you will just have fun with this tune. It's a cool song. It's got some neat shapes. Um, so look at it. Um, this is old Uncle Mark. I'm not in the mothership. This is actually my office for my other business. Um, I'm just moving my gear around a little bit. I was... Uh, just doing some things. So uh, anyhow, so uh, this is Mongoose by uh, Elephant's Memory. And uh, there's also a uh, beneath here in the show notes, there's a uh, paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. I appreciate all of you guys donating. I really appreciate your subscriptions. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the sharing and, and, and this great community. So uh, I want to thank you so much. It's old Uncle Mark from the Mothership. Or not from the Mothership, I guess. See ya. <laughs>